Hello, I'm Robert Berman. I am the owner and founder of Santa Monica Auctions, where we are getting ready for our upcoming spring auction, which will take place May 6th, Sunday, starting at one o'clock here at Bergamot. So uh, we're at the same location, B7 and A5. And we've put together a very exciting auction this year. So we've been holding these auctions through Santa Monica Auctions since 1984. And we do them twice a year. So every six months we get ready to uh, do a new auction. So it takes us six months to really go out there, look at all the work that's available, always in a secondary market. Right over here, we have, in my opinion, one of the strongest of the Ed Moses masterpieces. Ed passed away a few months ago at the age of 91. He is one of our favorite characters as well as one of the most important abstract painters ever to come out of Southern California. The LA County Museum did a retrospective from 1951 to 1996, and they chose some of his best paintings for this retrospective. And in this collection, Vinca, which was painted in 1989, is a featured work, full page. And next to the Ed Moses, we have a, a, one of the first paintings that was shown by an artist that's getting great fame now, <laughs> a very important street artist called Retina. And we did a show called Will Rise, curated by Brett Aronson back in 2008. And we had all the seventh letter people. And this particular piece was the frontispiece piece for the whole show talking about the Will Rise exhibition and that will be included in this auction. In the vein of street art that Retina was in, we have the Korean American artist, David Cho, who did this gigantic, uh, really strong painting, which we were really happy to offer as well as this other painting that were both published in a exhibition that uh, he did back in uh, 2014. And in the vein of uh, street art and in the vein of um, strong imagery, we have a masterpiece here, double-sided mural by Shepard Ferry that was done in 2011 for the Chicago Mart, for the Chicago Art Fair. Just a couple of days ago, we were able to get this Carmel Rose Garcia painting that I think is one of her strongest works. As you walk through it, you could feel the rain and tears falling. Amazing. We were really lucky to get out of the LA County Museum playing with fire exhibition from Carlos Amaraz. This incredible painting so it's called Catman's Wedding, and it's from 1985. And this was the crate that it came in right from the LA County Museum. So this is a, a masterpiece that of course is full page in the catalog. We didn't never knew what to expect, but this painting from 1989 came where it's been since that time. Craig Kroll sold this out of Jan Turner Gallery back in 89. I think this is a very strong example. It's called The Man from Mars. One of the surprise pieces that's getting a lot of attention is by a Mexican artist, Marina Nunez, painted in 1996. That was at OMR Gallery in Mexico City, one of the best, probably the best gallery in Mexico. This behind me is a uh, lithograph by Francis Bacon, one of his largest lithographs. 
which I actually sold back in, I believe it was 1987 or 8. And it was a, a couple of few thousand dollars back then. But now, I think in London, this has gone for 60,000 pounds. I mean, it's really a desirable image and very strong colors by one of the great painters of the 20th century. So a relatively undiscovered Latino artist that came from Mexico to America was um, Fregenzo F. Corral. And we were lucky to get this collection and uh, we had some in our last auction and uh, they will end up in Cheech Marin's new museum in Riverside. We have some rare and great uh, prints. This is Robert Longo from uh, 2005. Robert Rauschenberg above that from 1977. And a lot of our local great artists. A piece that came very lucky to us in the last few days was a Tomo Gokita from 2013, who's one of the strongest Japanese artists who shows in New York at Mary Boone Takeishi Gallery in Tokyo, and Blum and Poe has shown him here in Los Angeles. Also, last minute, we got this really beautiful example of, of the Mao print by Andy Warhol. So in the vein of fun and funny, we were able to get a piece that has never been on the market at auction before by Margaret Keene, the artist who the movie Big Eyes was about. In 1962, when she was getting a lot of fame, she was hired by Jerry Lewis to do Jerry with his family, his sons, his wife, his dogs, his cats, all with large eyes. And this painting was in the Lewis family and kept by one of his sons until Jerry passed last year. And now it will be up at auction. A small piece just today, this size, by um, Margaret Keene, just sold for 45000 And this has been quoted by the writer of Big Eyes as the holy grail of the Margaret Keene collection. This is a spectacular work by David Hockney that was done in 1996 which shows the humor of David at his studio taking a vase of, of flowers and showing the still life painting of the vase and juxtaposing them together to create a conceptual look of the two vases. The piece is called Roses for Mother 4 a digital print, really a, an important work by David Hockney. We have a very nice selection of photography this year, including works by Dennis Hopper, Alex Prager. Uh, we have this really great self-portrait by Steve Arnold. We have uh, Nancy Burston. We have Ouija's Distorted Mona Lisa series. We have an Ansel Adams, this incredible Paul Capaniegro, some great works by George Tice, Richard Miseraf, Mary Ellen Mark, Willie Ronis. We have over 260 really great works for a few hundred dollars to hopefully many thousand. 
which will be offered Sunday afternoon, May 6th, starting at one o'clock sharp. We'll be holding it at Bergamont, which is in Santa Monica, and it's open to the public. We invite you to go to smauctions.com to see the complete catalog. You can come and bid live, you can bid by phone, you can bid on live auctioneers and bid square. So you've got many ways to go, but we really encourage you and invite you to come by, visit the gallery at Bergamot and spend time with us and look at the quality and the beauty of the works that we're offering this coming May 6th. Thank you.